Hi everyone. Good evening. Hope you are doing fine at home. Hope you are also following the new SOP, which is the new norm for all of us. Today is the second Friday dedicated to the Sacred Heart of Jesus, and we are on our journey to our feast of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. And if you remember, last week we had program catered to the children, and today we are going to have a program specially catered to the teens and all at home. And you might be thinking, who is the person next to me? It is Brother Anthony. Hello, Philip. Hi, Anthony. Hello, teens at home. All right. As Philip said, we're gonna have a special program for you guys, the teenagers. And there are a lot of programs, activities are queuing up throughout this program. So I would suggest you to prepare to invite your friends in social media to watch with us. Right? Do we have anyone special for today's program, Philip? Oh, definitely. We have someone from the historical city. What? What? Yeah, Malacca, the historical city. He is a priest from the parish of the Saint Peter's Malacca, and he has a special heart for the children, especially you teens. And he is none other than Father Lionel Thomas. He is going to be with us and journey with us and bring us truth to this day. And let us not waste any more time and let us invite the Holy Trinity to be with us in this journey. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. To begin with, let's hear the opening hymn from our parish teenagers. Here it goes. I want to see you. 
Wow, that was so great. Let us give a like for them. Oh yes, please click the like button below this video. Now, Philip, what is next waiting for us? Oh yes, Father Lionel is going to share with us on God's love. What is his God's real love for us? Let us bring our ears closer to listen to him and see what God has to say for us today. Let us hear. Here it goes. Hence in Romans chapter 3 verse 23, St. Paul says, For all have sinned, and all are in need of the glory of God. We are all sinners. Now look at the scripture verse. Romans chapter 5 verse 8, But God demonstrates his own love for us in this, while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. There you go. Folks, let's not forget, Jesus Christ died on the cross for us because he loves us, and he did not wait for us to be saints. He died for us while we were still sinners. So why on earth do Christians have to make God's love look so cheap? I don't get it. We don't have to earn brownie points with God. And God's love was poured into our hearts. Romans chapter 5 verse 5. Poured into our hearts. And in John chapter 10 verse 11, Jesus says, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. There you go. God's love given to us unconditionally. Friends, God is not a vending machine, nor can His love be manipulated. So, fellow Christians, look around us, look into your lives, your homes, your family. There's so much to be grateful for. Hey, hang on, wait a minute. Our very lives is a blessing from God. We have so much to be grateful for, my dear people of God. And lastly, the icing on the cake, the first letter of John, chapter 4, verse 19. We love because He first loved us. Amen. Wow, God's love is so great for us. God loved us so much. Not only us, but the entire humanity. Philip, do you feel special? Absolutely, I feel very special. Having said that, Let's move on to the next activity. Yes, you're right. Our next activity is to help us to find the three affirmative words that speaks to you today through this crossword puzzle. And once you have found them, post them in your Facebook or Instagram. Let's do it together. Yes, let's do Well, it's really interesting to find affirmative words that speaks to me about God's love. Yes. Now we know what's God's love. How about God's plan for us? Spot on, Robert. You have the right question. Let's get it right from Father Lionel Thomas now. Jesus today in the Gospel is saying to us, You did not choose me but I chose you. Yes, God is working in your life. He has great plans for you. And Jesus wants to use your hands and feet and your mouth and your heart to share His love and peace, holiness, and to bring joy to each other. Yes, I believe that all of you, all of you can bring Jesus to each other. And when we forgive and change our lives and repent, we will find greater peace and joy in our homes and lives. Yes, remember the words of Jesus Christ. You did not choose me. No, I chose you. Amen. Hmm, God's plan is to share His love, peace and joy to others. What am I to do? Hmm, I think I miss some of them. I have not been contacting them. And I want to talk to them now. But first, I think I will pray for them. And then, I will take my handphone to send them a voice or text message to say either Jesus loves you or I miss you. I think in that way, I can share my love 
and peace of Christ with them. It can be my friend or my relative or my family member or anyone whose relationship I want to re-establish. And I invite you now to try this, to bring, to share the peace, love and joy of Christ to others. Wow! Now I understood God's love and plan for us. How do we live this plan of God? Hmm, definitely, Robert. A good shepherd will lead us through this. Let us listen to what this good shepherd has in store for us. Let us listen attentively. The Gospel of John, Chapter 10 the Good Shepherd. I am the Good Shepherd. A Good Shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. And I know mine, and mine knows me. My dear friends, when I look at the inside of the church, it feels like being in a sheepfold. We are all enclosed within the beautiful walls of this holy church. with all the angels and saints and Jesus the Good Shepherd allowing His holy light to break through this church and the light which is holy embraces us fills us with peace and love and joy with messages of truth with divine revelation bursting out from the Bible as the scriptures proclaim at every holy mass and the church door as it were, it's like the gate to the sheepfold. As the sheep comes into the sheepfold to be guided, to be led, to be protected and watched over by Jesus, the Good Shepherd, and to be fed and nourished by the Word of God, by, by the Eucharist. And when the, when the sheep need to be nursed and to be healed from their wounds because of sin, they go for confession and they receive healing in the confessional. And the Good Shepherd would, would bandage their wounds on their souls brought about by sin with the graces that flow from the sacrament of reconciliation Jesus the Good Shepherd invites us to the sheepfold and the church is that beautiful sheepfold and Jesus is the gatekeeper and also the gate that welcomes us that invites us and leads us to green pastures But beware of the false voices. That distracts us. That takes us away from the Good Shepherd. The voice of greed, of selfishness. That pulls us in. That takes us away from all that is good, right and holy. So let us pray to Jesus the Good Shepherd to save us from all the false voices that comes to destroy and the evil one knows all our weaknesses and they will use that to destroy us further and draw us away from the Good Shepherd Jesus says I come to give life so that you may have life life in abundance so we need to do a examination of our conscience is to hear what are the false voices that that drops us or takes us away from the voice of Jesus Christ selfishness anger greed jealousy lack of patience lust addictions gambling alcoholism whatever what is it that takes you away what are the false voices that are drawing you away pride lack of humility we need to check ourselves every day and walk away from the false voices because the false voice of the evil one comes to destroy, to disunite, to scatter, to break away, to tear asunder relationships, family members, communities. That's the voice of the false shepherd because the good shepherd comes together to bring us together, to unite, to heal and to make us whole, to make us one. That is the task of the good shepherd. And when we allow Jesus to lead us, of course, there's life, there's hope. There's joy, there's color, 
there's peace, there's joy, there's gentleness, there's faithfulness, there's kindness, there's self-control, there's purity of mind, purity of heart. So whose voice are you listening to? The voice of the Good Shepherd? Or the false shepherds that comes by your way? Your friends who distract you, who takes you away? Your work can take you away from your family. What sort of entertainment, pornography, takes you away from the Good Shepherd? Pornography fills you with filth and garbage and that's why we have a lot of pre, uh, pre-marital sex and, and teenage pregnancy and abortion is on the rise. Every day, thousands of babies are being killed because of abortion. And that's why Jesus says that He's the gate. He's the gate that leads us to green pastures. Walk through this gate. Walk through this gate. And feel the gentle voice of Jesus, the Good Shepherd, who comes to give us life and life in abundance. I've come so that you may have life, says the Lord. And the gate is none other than the access to eternal life. That entry point into heaven, eternity, where every tear will be wiped dry. Well, there'll be no need for lamb light or sunlight because the light will be coming from the Lamb of God Himself. Don't you want that? Don't you hunger? Don't you thirst for the living water? Jesus who comes to quench your thirst and to fill you, to fill your soul with His living Spirit. Don't you thirst for Jesus? And the Good Shepherd comes just for that. So walk through that gate that leads to those beautiful green pastures and enjoy this beautiful gate that leads us to the eternal kingdom, the heavenly kingdom. Jesus the Good Shepherd invites us all to follow Him. I know my sheep and mine knows me. My sheep listens to my voice. So do you have a good relationship with Jesus the Good Shepherd? Have you been listening to His voice lately? Have you been reading the Holy Bible? Have you been faithful with the online masses? Have you been doing all that is necessary to free yourself from all those false voices that has clouded your mind, that has that, that, that robbed you from peace, from joy, from a purity of mind, purity of heart, from healthy relationships, from healthy forms of entertainment? Have you been listening to the voice of the Good Shepherd? Now that we have listened to the Good Shepherd and learned to live within his sheepfold, isn't that wonderful? If yes, let's move on to the next activity. This is what you have to do. Make a pledge to God by your sincere hearts to be within his sheepfold by confessing your sins, weaknesses or addictions. Let's promise God today to let go of them and to be renewed with Him. To seek our Lord's pardon and mercy for our failures. Let us take our rosary and recite the chaplet to the Sacred Heart of Jesus, led by the teens, and continue to stay on for us to know the richness of our Holy Mass. Jesus, give us your heart as a pledge of your love and as a place of refuge that we may find there a secure repose during our life and sweet comfort at the hour of our death. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy home, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and there of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy home, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and there of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy home, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and there of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under the Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of sins, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. You, I adore, praise and love O oh, sacred heart of my dear Jesus, penetrated with grief at the thought of so many offences, which have been hitherto committed against you in the most holy sacrament of the altar, I offer up to you in satisfaction there of the amiable heart of your most beloved mother with the merits of the saints. Amen. O oh, sacred heart of Jesus, burning with love of us, inflame our hearts with the love of you. O oh, sacred heart of Jesus, burning with love of us, Inflame our hearts with the love of you. O oh, sacred heart of Jesus, burning with love of us, inflame our hearts with the love of you. O oh, sacred heart of Jesus, burning with love of us, inflame our hearts with the love of you. O oh, sacred heart of Jesus, burning with love of us, inflame our hearts with the love of you. O oh, sacred heart of Jesus, burning with love of us, inflame our hearts with the love of you. O oh, sacred heart of Jesus, Burning with love of us, inflame our hearts with the love of you. O oh, sacred heart of Jesus, burning with love of us, inflame our hearts with the love of you. O oh, sacred heart of Jesus, burning with love of us, Inflame our hearts with the love of you. O oh, sacred heart of Jesus, burning with love of us. Inflame our hearts with the love of you. You, I adore, praise and love, O oh, sacred heart of my dear Jesus penetrated with grief at the thought of so many offences, which have been hitherto committed against you in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I offer up to you in satisfaction there of the amiable heart of your most beloved mother with the merits of the saints. Amen. 
O sacred heart of Jesus, burning with love of us, inflame our hearts with the love of you. O sacred heart of Jesus, burning with love of us, inflame our hearts with the love of you. O sacred heart of Jesus, burning with love of us, inflame our hearts with the love of you. O sacred heart of Jesus, burning with love of us, inflame our hearts with the love of you. O sacred heart of Jesus, burning with love of us, inflame our hearts with the love of you. O sacred heart of Jesus, burning with love of us, inflame our hearts with the love of you. O sacred heart of Jesus, burning with love of us, inflame our hearts with the love of you. O sacred heart of Jesus, burning with love of us, inflame our hearts with the love of you. O sacred heart of Jesus, burning with love of us, inflame our hearts with the love of you. O sacred heart of Jesus, burning with love of us, inflame our hearts with the love of you. You, I adore, praise and love, O sacred heart of my dear Jesus, penetrated with grief at the thought of so many offenses, which have been hitherto committed against you, in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I offer up to you in satisfaction there of the amiable heart of your beloved mother, with the merits of the saints. Amen. O sacred heart of Jesus, burning with love of us, inflame our hearts with the love of you. O sacred heart of Jesus, burning with love of us, inflame our hearts with the love of you. O sacred heart of Jesus, burning with love of us, inflame our hearts with the love of you. O sacred heart of Jesus, burning with love of us, inflame our hearts with the love of you. O sacred heart of Jesus, burning with love of us, inflame our hearts with the love of you. O sacred heart of Jesus, burning with love of us, inflame our hearts with the love of you. O sacred heart of Jesus, burning with love of us, inflame our hearts with the love of you. O sacred heart of Jesus, burning with love of us, inflame our hearts with the love of you. O sacred heart of Jesus, burning with love of us, Inflame our hearts with the love of you. O sacred heart of Jesus, burning with love of us. Inflame our hearts with the love of you. You, I adore, praise and love, O sacred heart of my dear Jesus, penetrated with grief at the thoughts of so many offences, which have been hitherto committed against you, in the most holy sacrament of the altar, I offer you up in satisfaction there at the mirable heart of your most beloved mother, with the merits of the saints. Amen. O sacred heart of Jesus, burning with love of us, inflame our hearts with the love of you. O sacred heart of Jesus, burning with love of us, inflame our hearts with the love of you. O sacred heart of Jesus, burning with love of us, Inflame our hearts with the love of you. O sacred heart of Jesus, burning with love of us, inflame our hearts with the love of you. O sacred heart of Jesus, burning with love of us, inflame our hearts with the love of you. O sacred heart of Jesus, burning with love of us, inflame our hearts with the love of you. O sacred heart of Jesus, burning with love of us, inflame our hearts with the love of you. O sacred heart of Jesus, burning with love of us, inflame our hearts with the love of you. O sacred heart of Jesus, burning with love of us, inflame our hearts with the love of you. O sacred heart of Jesus, burning with love of us, inflame our hearts with the love of you. You, I adore, praise and love. O sacred heart of my dear Jesus, penetrated with grief at the thought of so many offences, 
which have been hitherto committed against you in the most holy sacrament of the altar, I offer up to you in satisfaction that of the amiable heart of your most beloved mother with the merits of the saints. Amen. O oh, Sacred Heart of Jesus, burning with love of us, inflame our hearts with the love of you. O oh, Sacred Heart of Jesus, burning with love of us, inflame our heart with the love of you. O oh, Sacred Heart of Jesus, burning with love of us, inflame our hearts with the love of you. O oh, Sacred Heart of Jesus, burning with love of us, inflame our heart with the love of you. O oh, Sacred Heart of Jesus, burning with love of us, inflame our hearts with the love of you. O oh, Sacred Heart of Jesus, burning with love of us, inflame our hearts with the love of you. O oh, Sacred Heart of Jesus, burning with love of us, inflame our hearts with the love of you. O oh, Sacred Heart of Jesus, burning with love of us, inflame our heart with the love of you. O oh, Sacred Heart of Jesus, burning with love of us. Inflame our heart with the love of you. O oh, Sacred Heart of Jesus, burning with love of us, inflame our heart with the love of you. O oh, Sacred Heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. O oh, Sacred Heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. O oh, Sacred Heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ hear us. Christ hear us. Christ graciously hear us. Christ graciously hear us. God the Father of heaven. Have mercy on us. God the Son Redeemer of the world. Have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit. Have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, Son of the Eternal Father. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, formed by the Holy Spirit in the womb of the Virgin Mother. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, substantially united to the Word of God. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus of infinite majesty. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, sacred temple of God. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, tabernacle of the Most High. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, house of God and gates of heaven. Have mercy on us. Mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, abode of justice and love. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, full of goodness and love. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, abyss of all virtues. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, most worthy of all praise. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, king and center of all hearts. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, in whom are all treasured of wisdom and knowledge. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, in whom dwells the fullness of divinity. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, in whom the Father was well pleased. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, of whose fullness we have all received. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, desire of the everlasting hills. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, patient and most merciful. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, enriching all who invoke thee. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, fountain of life and holiness. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, proportion for our sins. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, loaded down with opprobrium. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, bruised for our offenses. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, obedient to that. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us. us. Heart of Jesus, pierced with the lens. Have mercy, Have on, mercy us. on us. Heart of Jesus, source of all consolation. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us. us. Heart of Jesus, our life and resurrection. Have, Have mercy on us. us. Heart of Jesus, our peace and our reconciliation. Have, have mercy, mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, victim of our sins. Have, have mercy, mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, salvation of those who trust in thee. Have, have mercy, mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, hope of those who die in thee. Have mercy, mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, delight of all the saints. Have, have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb of God, 
who takes away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Have, have mercy, mercy on, on us, O Lord. Jesus, meek and humble of heart. Make, make our hearts unto thine. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, look upon the heart of thy most beloved Son, upon the praises and satisfaction which he offers thee in the name of sinners, and to those who employ their mercy in thy great goodness. Grant forgiveness in the name of the same Jesus Christ, thy Son, who lives and reigns with thee forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Lord, we bring before you the teenagers of our nation and indeed the world who are facing so many problems and difficulties in a world that has all but forsaken the living God and turned itself over to idols. The truth of scripture and accountability to our Creator and God has given way to teachings on relativity and bitterness and hatred is the diet that is being promoted in every area of life. Look down in pity on the teenagers of today who have so little light to guide them on the path of truth, so little biblical instruction and sound teaching, so few good role models to inspire them, and so little hope in a world that is drowning in self-interest and sin. We hardly know how to pray, Lord, for there are so many that are being led down the path to destruction and an eternal separation from the one who died on the cross to save them from sin and death and hell. Have mercy, Lord, on this generation of teenagers. Have pity, Lord, and send help to each one. In Jesus' name I pray, Amen. My dear friends, when you make your way to church to attend the Holy Mass, what are the preparations that you do? Do you go through the readings? Do you prepare yourself mentally to see the priest and to make a good confession? Yes, it's nice to, to have a little chit chat with your friends. But how many make an effort to go to the adoration room or perhaps for some they spend more time in the food court or the cafeteria in the church and they might just want to give the adoration room a miss some might just want to step into the church at the very last minute as soon as the church bells are ringing how many make an effort to go in early perhaps there are many of you praise the lord for that if you do that to go enter the church early and to make spiritual preparation and for those of you who find there's a need or a desire in your soul to make peace with Jesus then going for confession would be the right thing to do so how do you prepare yourself mentally to come to Jesus to come to the throne of mercy to come to the throne of grace and to ask mercy and pardon from God Sadly, for some Catholics, when they do walk into the church, they are eager to look out for their friends. They are very eager to read the church bulletin or any Catholic magazines. The tabernacle is right in front of you. Jesus is present. Just once a week, you reserve one and a half hour just to spend time with God. I'm sure you can afford to read the church bulletin at home. You can pray a decade of the Holy Rosary, look at the statues of the Holy Saints, and gaze and look and meditate on the life or any of the statues that are made available. Think of their life. See how they came close to God. How did they grow in holiness? Of course, when you step into the church, the first thing you ought to do is also 
trace yourself with the holy water and make the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, do it with love in a very meaningful way. Don't just rush, rush through. Sadly, there'll be situations at time when there's hardly any water in it and you'll see Catholics placing their fingers into an empty container. It's become so habitual, if, even if it's empty, they'll still dip their fingers in it. And then for those who are more adventurous, if I can use that word, please go for a good, please go for a good confession. And of course you'll kneel down and say, Bless me, Father, for I've sinned. And make a good confession. And when you're done, you'll make your way back to your pew. And of course, like good Catholics, when you reach your pew, the first thing you have to do is to kneel China flag and adore Jesus in the tabernacle and then you'll stand up after you chant the flag and then you take your seat in the pew and this is when you speak to Jesus speak to your garden angels speak to the Blessed Virgin Mother you have your set of prayers your novenas Just close your eyes and meditate on the Holy Scripture that you have read. Or go to your missile. There's so much you want to say to Jesus. And of course the liturgy of the Word. And that's when the Word of God is spoken. And in the Gospel, Jesus speaks to us. And of course, during Holy Communion, as you make your way down the Holy Isle, I say Holy Isle because very soon you'll be united with the Bridegroom Jesus Christ. And there He awaits you, and the two shall become one, the human and divine, united in a beautiful, mystical, spiritual way. And that's when we claim our identity as sons and daughters of the Most High God, yes, royal blood flowing in your veins as you receive Jesus. And sadly, there are those who make their way for Holy Communion. They will turn to their left, they will turn to their right and smile at people around them. They are not that focused. Sadly, there are Catholics who will smile and laugh and they are not that serious when they walk down the aisle to receive their bridegroom, Jesus Christ. Some will even smile at the altar server. Is that really necessary? Smile at Jesus instead. Say, Jesus, I love you. I believe in you. I adore you. I hope in you. I love you and I trust you and I need you. When we receive Jesus in Holy Communion and when we return to the pews, what do you say to Jesus? What did Jesus say to you? What is he asking of? As you can see, we are passing by the tabernacle. When you walk past the altar, please always make it a habit to bow before His Majesty who is in the tabernacle. Oh Lord Jesus, thank you so much for coming to my heart, into my soul, into Holy communion. Help me to grow in the holy virtues. Our souls are united with Jesus in the Eucharist. We ask for His wisdom to lead us and to guide us. Love of God and love of neighbor. And yes, to forgive your enemies, to pray for them. the church is truly in the courtyard of heaven. It's, it's just the 
most beautiful, perfect place where you just want to spend time contemplating on the life of the saints. St. John the Baptist who prepared the way, the voice crying out in the wilderness. St. Anthony of Padua, a powerful preacher, the Holy Saint, was so blessed to hold the child Jesus in his arms and the Blessed Virgin Mother, a gift to humanity, Mary, the Mother of God, the Queen Mother, who prays and intercedes for all of us. St. Joseph, the most chaste spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mother and guardian of Jesus Christ. Protect us, St. Joseph. Pray for us and the whole world. So, my dear friends, as we pass by the altar again, we bow down. His Majesty, recognizing there's always that oil land there burning away to remind us of the real presence of Jesus in the tabernacle. When you walk into church, yeah, smile for him, give a beautiful smile to Jesus who's in the tabernacle. Make regular short visits. And may all the saints pray for us as well. Saint Francis Xavier, Saint Teresa Lisieux to pray and to intercede for us. And of course, before we depart, after the final blessing, it's good to just stay back for a minute or two and ask the Holy Spirit to enlighten us in certain areas of our lives. What was the message that we had received during the sermon or in the readings Observe the sacred silence in the church. Let there be silence so that people can have this ambience of prayer and reverence and sacredness. We have a huge compound outside. There's ample space to talk and to laugh, to share and to fellowship. It would be nice though to just enjoy and bask in the holiness of a sanctuary where all the angels are present. All the heavenly creatures gather around the altar, praising God, holy, holy, holy. Lord God Almighty, the story on the elephant rope. It was by one visitor when he visited an elephant sanctuary and he saw these elephants only secured with a small rope that was around one of their ankles. And he wondered why the elephants didn't break free from the rope. The elephants were certainly strong enough to do so. So he asked the trainer why they didn't break free. And he responded that it is the same size of the rope that they used from they were baby till they were adult. And when they were small, they were not able to break free. But however, after being conditioned growing up like that, they have been thinking that the rope can still hold them and they don't give a fight. So what is the moral here, my dear friends? It is this. If we don't let go of your limiting beliefs to make the breakthroughs that are required for your ultimate success, you will remain there. Don't let others tell you that you can't do something or hold on to the assumption that you can't grow and learn from past failures. Here is a chance for us to grow deeper with Christ, to seek Him, and to be all alive in His kingdom and bring that to our actions, our words, and
and our deeds. Amen. As we are coming to the end of this program, I believe we have learned good things and values of our Catholic Church. Yes, absolutely. This has enriched my knowledge and reverence for our faith. We have a lot of things to learn from Father Lionel. Not only that, stay tuned and look for further programs which are lined up for our upcoming feast day. Hashtag Feast of Sacred Heart of Jesus 2020. Hi, my dear friends. I'm Father Simon Lau, the Assistant Priest of the Sacred Heart Church in KL. Here, I would like to thank all of you for joining us in tonight's prayer. And also on behalf of the parish community, I would like to thank a few people, especially to Father Lionel, for giving us his video and support us in tonight's prayer, helping us in tonight's session. And also, congratulations to you all, our teenagers from the secondary catechism class. You have done a great job and we thank all of you for your participation and your effort. And also thank you for all the catechism teachers. You are helping so much in the video making. And also thank to our brother Philip and brother Anthony Robert. They also help a lot in compiling all the videos, making tonight's program available to us all. May God continue to grant us all this grace. May we continue to connect and unite in the heart of Jesus so that we will be one in Him and He in us. As we end tonight's session, let us pray to Him for His blessing. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit.